today's video from Shopsturf. We're taking a look at how you can protect yourself from taking fake polymer £20 banknotes in the UK. Um, so obviously the polymer notes have been out for about a year now, so they were released in February 2020. Um, so we're all quite familiar with them. I haven't seen many fakes, um, but we've, they've now started to filter through. Obviously the biggest problem to start with that the fraudsters had was printing it on a similar type of paper. Um, we've now started seeing some fakes filter through. I've yet to see any really good ones. Um, in this video I'm going to show you a fake one and how to um, how to tell it's a fake. Um, so on here, this is a genuine note. Um, and the, the thing the fraudsters struggle with, or one of the things they struggle with, is the effect here. So this is gold and blue. The lighthouse, Margate Lighthouse, is gold. And when you tilt the note, um, you get the effect that a light beacon of light is coming from the top of the lighthouse um, and then on the reverse you get the same effect but it's all in silver. Uh, this is a fake note I've been handed. Um, that's just about gold but very faint. Um, when you twizzle the note there's no brightness or no effect that you got on the genuine note and then on the reverse the lighthouse is still gold um, and the gallery is definitely not um, silver. Um, there's the Queen's portrait here. Is you can just about make it out, but it's it's very faint, and obviously on the genuine note, it's much clearer and easier to see. Another thing they'll struggle with um, is this twenty. So if you tilt the note, it says twenty and then pounds spelt out, and then obviously there's a almost a fluorescenty style effect when you tilt the note again. On here, this fake note. It just says 20 and then there's no real effect when you tilt the node around. Um, they've also failed here, so this this obviously isn't genuine. It should be the coronation crown icon. Again, it's the hologram effect that they're, they're missing out on. And then on the reverse as well, even under natural light, there's a reaction. Whereas on the fake note, it's just totally dull. Um, then on this window down here actually, you can see even when you've got them there, they look different. If I place the genuine note on top and line them up, you can see um, the fake one is the wrong size, so it's slightly too wide. And then also this probably won't come out in the video, but on the back, on the genuine note, there's effects. You can see 20, 20, 20 written out on the Tintin Abbey window. Whereas on here there's absolutely nothing and there's no detail um, on the note. So all these things you'll notice have been, I've been able to pick up just by looking at the note uh, without any need for any counterfeit note detectors. Um, and another way of telling actually without any technology is just the overall quality of the note. So I appreciate if you're just holding this note by, by itself you may not spot it but you just put the two notes together and you can see this one's blurry, There's, whereas all the details on, on this note are really defined. So the background pictures, they're all really sharp. And on the reverse, it's exactly the same. In fact, the reverse is pretty terrible on here. So the genuine one is yellow, whereas this is like a purpley red. It's blurry over here. I guess they've deliberately damaged the note to try and say it's been through a washing machine. So that's why it um, doesn't look right. Um, and, then, and in fact, on the this detail here where the serial number is although they've got the serial number in the correct format it just doesn't the detailing round if we look at the genuine note there's there's detail again it might not come through on the video whereas on this one it just hasn't got although there's the mark behind it it's not the same not the same level of detail um, and then another thing is the the new polymer notes they have braille to help blind and partially sighted people tell which one's which obviously um, this does not have it it's, there's no braille whatsoever um, and also the note feels raised at certain points of the writing so along the bank of england here that's raised and the pounds here is raised so the 20 actually and on this note so you can't tell but it's helpful for you to to check um, so they're all things that you can check on the note without any technology however we would recommend you have some type of UV detector you don't have to spend a lot of money um, but just something that will pick up on the hologram because another thing they, they can't really do is um, there's the 20 hologram 
on the note there and that should be the case on all the polymer notes so 10 there and then on the five has got it on as well so this is just a cheap pen and that's even picking it up on this note nothing absolutely nothing and also you have a desktop detector and you can see straight away that's picking up the 20 there nice and bright nice and clear and then absolutely nothing on there so that's um they're, they're decent things to have i think because especially if you even if you don't use them that often if you turn away one or two well the two things they're paid if they spot a couple of fake 20 pound notes then they're paid for themselves straight away uh, but also they'll act as a deterrent so if people see that device there and they know they've got a fraudulent note then they're then they're not going to try it on with you Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. Uh, just a guide on how to spot fake polymer notes. Um, we've got plenty of other videos including um, details on the new £50 polymer, uh, which you're welcome to check out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit shopstuff.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.